You guys are going to be proud of us. Uh, or Don. Uh, Don. Me. I, I brought the stuff upstairs, though. Oh, a he lot did of it. Help. He did a lot help. of it. I did help a little bit. So, so I think I did good. Uh, we're going to eat right now before we go thrifting. We're going to Golden. No, we're going to <laughs> Outback. Golden. The Golden Corral of Australia. Outback oh, Steakhouse yeah. with uh, Archie Biscuit, but a fellow reseller here in Vegas. We're going to have a good time. And then we're going to go thrifting. And we got a live tonight, which you guys will hopefully attend. It will be uh, yesterday because this video is coming out tomorrow. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. But yesterday. Yeah. Because this video is coming out tomorrow. So this information is not important right now, but there's going to be a live that was yesterday. If you missed, go check it out. Yeah. But uh, we're going to have a good time. Thanks for coming along. We just left Outback, everybody. I'm with Archie Biscuit Butt. He has his first YouTube video coming out here shortly. And Dawn, of course. Um, follow him, guys. Guess where we're going now? Guess what we're doing now? What are we doing? Store. We're going to the thrift. We're going thrifting. I bet you we'll find stuff. Here we are at Savers. You ready to go, Don? Oh, yeah. Getting your TikTok ready? <laughs> I say it all the time, but it really is something I look out for. SGA items, stadium giveaways, $4.99. This is a Holoc game mask. Not a big time seller, but I should be able to get about 15 or so, maybe 12 to 15 plus shipping. Found a bobblehead in the box, Mick Dolan. Not entirely sure who this person is, but it's $5.99. I looked it up. One sold for like 14 plus shipping. Might even be able to get a little bit more, so I'm gonna pick it up. So we came up with, I was gonna, like some random person just looking at it, oh, and then you were just cheese. gonna steal it from me. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vintage Chuck E. Cheese. Way to yes. do it. Wait here. Or I should already be looking at it when you walk up on me. Okay. And then just take it. So let's see. <laughs> let's see what it is though. It's going for, or people are asking, I didn't see a sold one, but people are asking 18 to 25. Nice. So we were just joking about a potential Instagram story or TikTok we could do just as a joke, but now there's loud music playing again, so I have to do the voiceover. There's some Monchichis, there's some vintage Smurfs, fun little toy bag. I think it was like maybe six, seven bucks. There's a lot of little individual ones. What is it? Four bucks, even better. So we should be able to make um, several dollars on this. Here's a Care Bear. I believe this one is vintage. Um, pretty awesome. I forgot which one the one with the sunflowers is. Probably some sort of sun shiny bear. I'm not sure. Dawn is telling me it's awesome. I'm telling her I agree. I love picking up Las Vegas Aviator stuff. It's the AAA Oakland A's team, but 649 is too much. By the way, I've heard the A's might come to Vegas. That's my favorite team. I'd be super excited, but I'd feel bad for the Oakland fans for sure. Jason Tatum hats. These are interesting. Never seen anything like it. New era athletes collection. I couldn't find prices on them. Only a website that had them at one time. I don't even know if there was prices on there on them. Um, I'm going to pick them up. Tim bucks is a pricey, but I think I can do well. This is a cool hat that uh, Archie found that has like a pocket in the hat, I guess. Um, I don't know what for, but it's just a pocket, I guess. Um, I don't know. This is just some poorly shot footage of something and I don't know why I filmed it, but I'm going to leave that in here. I'm going to leave this in here because why not? Live it up. Just the other day, I sold a pretty cool full-size Viking helmet I got in Wyoming for 12 bucks. So I'm looking for helmets. I kind of want to collect them too, especially autographed ones. This is John Robinson, who used to coach at USC, and I guess he did at UNLV too, but it's 100 bucks with no COA. If it had a certificate of authenticity, maybe would have paid 50, 60, maybe for myself or try to sell it. But without a COA, I don't think I'd touch it for any more than like 25 or 30. And that would be just for myself to keep or I guess to risk and put on whatnot or Mercari or something, but look for these with COAs. Still, pretty cool helmet. All right, Duke, are you ready for us to open up another box from our trip? You ready, dude? All right, I think this he's ready. This one is from uh, one we sent from Dave's. One we sent from David. Here we go, guys. This one is probably nothing but junk. Well, if we went thrifting with him, yeah. Yeah, if we went thrifting with Dave. Dave's a new thrifter. If you guys are following him on Instagram, he's going thrifting at that Goodwill by his house that we and went to a couple times. Too. Yeah, Callie's getting really into it. It's fun. Dave's finding stuff too. We finally got him into thrifting all these years later. All right, this oh, one. Ooh. This has clothes. Ooh. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Did we send some of the jersey stuff home? We might have. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah. this might be the stuff. You you got from Kevin on the 147? Oh, I'm was it? Sure. Oh, maybe, yeah. Some of it might have been the from Kevin's Big Hall. Tennessee Volunteers. That's vintage. That's, I don't know Carhartt. what. Carhartt. Carhartt. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. I remember, oh. Penguins. This Gosh. is from that one thrift store. I actually. <gasps> this is for Duke. 
Duke. That's for Duke. Duke. He got excited. Look. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yes, this is yours, sweetie. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that thing. I remember that. Disney hats. Oh, Space Jams. Oh, yes, that. I forgot about that. We're keeping this, guys. Are we keeping that? Yes. Oh, awesome. Um, more shirts. I don't know what they are. Just for John oh, Mellencamp. Yeah, we got that yeah, in Virginia. We just got a few of those because they had a whole bin of them. They were like a buck a piece. So we just, oh, Circus Circus, we got that in in uh, Utah, up by wow. Mom's house. Oh, there's that mask car. I wonder where that went. 1985, that was in Essex, Maryland, at the 2nd Avenue. I remember everything. Oh, shirts. We don't want to care. We don't want to care. What are you talking about? I want to post those. Ooh, that I got that. That's at Dave's thrift store that he's been going to oh, yeah. in uh, Florida. I got this for 25 cents, a vintage thermos. And this. Ooh, that's a build a bear, bear isn't frog it? For $1.99. Little foot or whatever. That is a uh, ducky. Look, we got the cat now. Aww. Zammy. <laughs> Bob Ross. Bob Ross. This is, we're keeping this. This is for us. Okay. You wanted to take this out of the package and sell it separately? Yeah, because the package is all jacked up, but I still think it'll sell. Spuds. Spuds McKenzie. I this love is for Sp us. It's for us when we actually set up the background of everything. Oh, here's our... Which ones were these? Uh, Scully and... Oh, yeah, Mulder and Scully. Those yep. were, like, worth some money, too. Today. Those are worth some money. We're rich. We're rich. These are my Friday night at Freddy's. Oops. Five nights at Freddy's. But we're going to keep these and put them on your shelf. Don still doesn't know it's Five Nights at Freddy's, isn't it? This is the vintage, I don't know what it is. I'm uh, confused at this point. Uh, vintage Halloween pumpkin. Nice. And vintage Halloween. Nice. Well, this is stuff I bought with Dave. Vintage Christmas. So, so stuff that Dave encouraged you to buy? Well, he was buying some too. I'm just kidding. We could sell that stuff. It's vintage. Oh, this is what for um, um, AM Picker. AM. Oh, yes. There he we wanted, go. What is it? Yoshi? So, yeah, he wanted that one. Who's it? I don't know what we are. So don't forget, we need to package that up. Okay. And also, I think that Penguins jersey we got earlier, I have to ship out. We were waiting to get through it. And they're, everybody's been pretty patient with us from the trip. We appreciate it, guys. So this guy. Blimpy? No, that's not Blimpy. Is that Blimpy? <laughs> uh, no, no, it's, it's, no, is it, no, it's Blimpy? Is that his name? No, that's the burger guy. This is Wimpy. Brutus, oh, Brutus, Brutus. Brutus the Barber Beefcake. This one. Nice. And so, let's see what this. We got some vintage Christmas. Nice, nice. Some more vintage Halloween. Don't know why we got that. <laughs> <laughs> vintage Halloween. Nice. Halloween. Tis yeah. the season. Oh, is that that's uh keep this one that's the one from Oliver and Company, yeah. the uh, leader. I forgot his name. Or I don't know. We might sell this one. He's uh, cute. Yeah, it's Oliver and Company though. Yep. More vintage Halloween. Vintage Halloween. I don't know why. I ha I'm sorry, but I just thought this was the cutest. This dang is pretty cute. Plush. I'm not gonna lie. Is he not it. adorable? Look at the colors. It's nice. He's I cute. like it. He's cute. I dig it. You dig it, Duke? Whatever these are. Duke, you dig it? Duke? You dig it? He digs it. Yeah, I got those. I shouldn't have. Um, them I got them because they have minifigures in them. And they're worth maybe a little more than what I paid. I'll put them in an auction. Ooh, sharks. yeah, that's a brand uh, brand new with the tag, San Jose Sharks. Uh, that was in Virginia. We got that shirt. Vintage Christmas. It's, it's a good time to get Christmas and Halloween yes, stuff with fourth special. quarter. Guys, if you haven't gotten your boxes for fourth quarter 2024, guys, you got to get them now before they're be sold so out. you got to be a couple years ahead on the boxes. Feel cute? I'm joking. You can still get boxes, guys. Oh, this is an unopened uh, 19... So I can't remember. It's a cake topper. It's a cake it's a topper, turtle. but it's like dope. Another... Bashful. And then this was... Yeah, I think I looked that up. I think it was like 30, 35, I believe. Yep. Nice. And vintage Halloween. Nice. 
vintage Halloween. What would you rate this box, Don, out of 10? Um, out of the ones we've got, it didn't have many toys, so out of 10. Oh, I don't know who this oh, is. Oh, I got that. I probably overpaid. This is probably something I'm just going to keep. A Ray Bork NHL auto. No COA. I just wanted it. I like NHL stuff, even though I don't really watch it. I was just talking to Biscuit Butch. Bu Biscuit Butch? <laughs> this is for me. I want to have my green tea in this. Squad goals. Golden Girls. Uh, Archie Biscuit Butt, who we were eating with and went uh, thrifting with earlier, we were talking about the Golden Knights. I got to start getting into hockey and going to games now that we got a pro team around here. Awesome, guys. Thank you. We'll uh, have some more content here, so stay tuned. Right, Don? We're going to go live, which will be, of course, in the past again because this is coming out the next day. We're about to go live. Um, wish us luck. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Got this fancy new square ring light that I wanna use a little bit in the vlog, also for what not and other stuff. I'm gonna show you a couple things I sold, we sold in the last couple days. Pretty good sales, look out for this stuff. If you can find it, you can make some money. This is a 1959 Sandy Koufax, LA Dodgers card in pretty good condition. We got this in the lot that I bought from AM Picker's dad. He gave us a great deal, $100 for like, I think it was like 15 cards, I probably paid like what is the math on that? Like six, seven dollars for this card. I had it up at eighty dollars, worth more than I thought it would be, and it sold for sixty. I sent out an offer for sixty, or somebody sent me an offer. I forgot which, and it sold. And it's only been up for like five, six days. Sold for sixty bucks plus shipping. Vintage cards obviously are going to be worth some money. Look out for the big names. Sandy Koufax is definitely one of the big names, but even a good condition common can go for some money. Next sale is this retro style Sonics jersey. Ray Allen, this is cool. This is like the late 70s design throwback Nike. I got this in that big, big lot of clothing I got from Captain's Port out there in Lincoln, Nebraska. He has a great Instagram, go check it out. Also a store there in Lincoln, Nebraska. He, he hooked us up, man. We got a ton of stuff for like a hundred bucks. Probably gonna make a ton off that. Thanks again, my friend. But this is cool. Sold for $38 plus shipping. I believe I took an offer on it. If you guys remember, I don't know if you guys remember, back in the day, Ray Allen was in a movie, one of my favorite sports movies all time. He got game with Denzel Washington, and he wasn't the first choice. They were trying to get Kobe Bryant to do it back then, but he decided against it, and they got Ray Allen. I loved that movie. That was like my prime, me thinking I was going to make the NBA time of my life. I was 13 or 14, you know, 5'8", not very good, but somehow in my head, I thought I was going to make it. Unfortunately, I did not, but... This is a sick jersey. Sick, sick jersey. Gone soon, I'm sure. But, um, what are we doing? <laughs> hey guys, we're live. Um, I think this is going to be for the video. But yeah, Kevin's obviously on that downward spiral. His, his, his channel is taken. But... Oh, please. <laughs> I'm just joking. But the truth is, like, you know, you can't 100% depend on social media. So we want to use some of this momentum we're getting with, with money and following to up our eBay. So we could, we'd like to be at like 10000 a month. Facebook Reels can pay all our bills one month, right? And then maybe um, YouTube could pay all our bills. And then maybe eBay could pay all our bills. And maybe WhatNot could pay all our bills. So if anything ever gets chopped off, for whatever reason, because that...